Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be solving even more absolute value equations. For this first one, we have four times the absolute value of two X plus seven is equal to 40. Uh, so first step as always is we want to isolate the absolute value bars and whatever is in them. So to do that, I'm going to divide both sides by four. And then we're going to get absolute value of 2x plus 7 is equal to 10. So the number inside the absolute value bars needs to be either 10 or negative 10, therefore. So I'm going to write that down, that x, uh, 2x plus 7 is equal to 10, or 2x plus 7 is equal to negative 10. And we're going to solve both of those equations to get the two solutions. <clears throat> So on the first one, I'm going to start by subtracting 7 from both sides to get 2x is equal to 3. Then I'll divide by 2 on both sides to get that x is equal to 3 over 2, or 1 and a half. For the second one, same deal. I'm going to start by subtracting 7 from both sides and getting 2x is equal to negative 17. Then I'm going to divide both sides by 2 and get x is equal to negative 17 over 2. And so these are our two answers for this one. All right, let's try another. First thing we need to do is isolate the absolute value bars and what's in them. So to do that, I'm going to start by subtracting 12 from both sides to get 3 times absolute value of x plus 5 is equal to 9 minus 12. 9 minus 12 is negative 3. Then I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So now we have absolute value of x plus 5 is equal to negative 1. Now, this actually is not possible, right? It's not possible to get a negative value out of our absolute value bars, right? Absolute value represents the distance from zero. And so if something in the absolute value bars is supposed to spit out a negative number, this isn't possible. And so the answer here is no solutions. There is no possible way for the number inside an absolute value to give us negative one or any other negative number for that matter. All right, well, that's it for this one. Good work, everyone, and we'll see you for the next one.